fishing out everything. It's like, you know, he, he, he just doesn't, that's not all he does, per se, that's all we see in the game, but everywhere else, it's like, oh, he's like, kind of fighting, like, champion and blah, 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 blah. So, I would just say now he's like, more than, other than the home attack. Other, like, yeah, other than, yeah. I'll give, you, I'll give you an example. There was a spin dash. Yeah. At one point. Okay, you got the boost right now. You yeah. can do um, the bounce attack to defeat enemies if it's not a home attack. You can actually have the magic gloves. You can have the light speed attack. You can have the bounce. Yeah, you yeah, have the bounce. Light up, light up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, you mean the bounce. The bounce is way better than that horrible stomp. <laughs> well, still the stomp is... You can still attack them, that's why I was just giving an example there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, there's still more mobile attacks now. That's one thing, like, they don't need to actually implement because, you know, as a platforming game, you just need one little health bar. That's like, you just hit them once, and then they're dead. They don't need, like, um, health bars that you have oh, yeah. to be fighting you. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. I hated that ever since. Ever since we implemented that, which started in Heroes, by the way, ever since we implemented that, it's just been like, why am I bouncing off of enemies for 20 minutes, waiting for them to die? I just don't know like, what's going on. I'm just dying. Now that, now that, 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 I can understand. I'm talking about like when you actually get to like a boss fight. Make the boss fight, I'm just saying, make the boss fight a little more epic. Like, of course, I feel about like, in, not like when you're fighting Dr. Robot, but I'm talking about like these characters that are the size. That are the size of them. Because, you know, when you find out Robotnik, Robotnik's gonna be these big machines you went to. And all you pretty much need to do is a holding attack or something like that. And just simple stuff. But when you're fighting like someone about your size, they don't feel as epic as those battles. Because you know you because you know when you're going head forward with these big machines and stuff, you know you need to it's gonna be a big show. But like when you find someone like they were small, it's just kinda like, eh. Alright, I feel like you'll be on to the next thing, like, oh, I'm more excited for it, the battle to come. Just in a sense, not just, you know, totally... I think Generations, I think Generations did the best job of that, because, like, okay, you had the rivals, and then you had the big bosses. The rivals, yeah. you went pretty much head-to-head, toe-to-toe now, I mean, they were on the horrible mechanics of boosting like crazy, kind of yeah. in those fights. However, uh, well, some of the, well, yeah, it, it wasn't run. they were the same though, they were just running, yeah, they were all the same, yeah, that, that, I didn't like that too much, I'd rather have, like, just went straight head to head with metal, um, instead of just, you know, running, well, no, 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 no actually, I take that back, because Metal Sonic's, you know, that, his, their original fight back in Sonic's, he was a race, so I like that part, Shadow and Sonic wasn't a race, it was a fight to the death, they just happened to be running forward. All that getting the planets and doing that weird whatever it is that you have to do was really stupid and kind of weird. I mean, I was just honestly throwing that out there because honestly, they fought. They didn't really own racing, they fought. Sonic and Silver never raced, by the way. Silver was like, it's no use, and he just totally, you had to kill that guy. So I don't know why they turned them all into races. They just wanted to implement more boosting, more, more boosting, 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 boosting. Like, I mean, you know, I understand Sonic, you know, Sonic, he's racing, like, and it, like, that's what Sonic does, he runs, but he can do way more than that, and, like, I know you guys, and he can stop, he can do stuff, he can do more than that. Like, he can do more than run, he can do more stuff, but I, I just, you know, I just kind of, honestly, Really, just want to see him at least use the world his Sonic Boy and play a little more often because that is one of his special, I guess you say, special moves. I'm just saying, like, I'm seeing, like, oh, okay, well, and, like, I would never, like, maybe if they had, I would never want Sonic to turn into, like, a QT. You know what kind of games those are? He already turned into a QT. Well, yeah, I know. A QT, a QT, like, well, you know what I mean? Like, it's quick like, time execution where yeah. it's okay, God of War, where you have to press the buttons to do the actions. Sonic yeah. Unleashed oh, that quick in. Time yeah. Quick time, uh. Quick time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Quick time effect. No, no, quick time quick time ex- no, quick time ex- ex- execution or, or events. Or events. In general, it was execution. That's the first time I ever saw it. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, it was a fast one to do that. Um. 
in a Sonic game, don't get me wrong, it can be pretty sweet because you can do like sweet moves, but as a fighting style, you don't want to see that. And I enjoyed it in Unleashed, that's what that was pretty much what made me like Unleashed. Well, uh, the whale. Yeah, I love that whale. Oh man. <laughs> How did you know I love the whale? I never told you about that whale. That, that's my He's secret game. Whale! Oh, no, whale. Oh, I thought you meant the whale that Sonic runs on. I'm like, dude, that's my no. whale. <laughs> like, who told you about my secret little whale? It was Jim, wasn't it? <laughs> but anyway. Um, we look for the quick time events and the daytime song stages. Yeah, I mean, I, that's what I like. Mike is saying he doesn't want to see Sonic turn into the nighttime style version. And I, I don't either. I hated the nighttime, uh, the Red Hog version of the QTE. I yeah. only like the daytime version because it's like, damn, I'm doing all these sick moves and I need to press these buttons to do it. That's understandable. <laughs> you know, it's like make you work to do the moves. Why not? Like, you make your fingers spin. I don't prefer the normal way when you actually just go to the end of the round and just tap A. No, I like that too, honestly. But when you're in the air, you should be able to make it go longer by doing QTE. That's what I think. That's just my two cents. No, and that's fine because he's trying to do his little tricks. He's trying right. to show off. Right. Right. At the same time, I see what you mean. You should not have to fight by QTE. You should just fight like Knuckles. And oh, 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 I gotta say this. People disagree with me on this, but the Werehog wasn't a bad little thing. It was just bad for Sonic. Why is he a Werehog? Now, if Knuckles fought like the Werehog did, oh my gosh, I, I would be in love with Knuckles all over again. I, I would totally dethrone Tails and make Knuckles my new favorite character if he fought like the Werehog did. I'm, I, I mean, I loved his three-hit punch and the spiral upper attack from Sonic and Mickey 2, but um, Sonic 06 he even had some attacks, but um, he needs to be a fighter. He needs to be a fighter and he needs to be a treasure hunter. Why? Because he's a fighter and because he's a treasure hunter. Right. Well, I take that back. He is a treasure hunter and he just happens to have really huge knuckles. So he should fight. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I'm going to say about knuckles. Um, I can go on and on about all the characters, but just to kind of touch up on what you're saying, you know, as far as Sonic, Sonic Win, the last time we saw it was in Sonic 06 as an unlockable. You know, we should totally see some more of that for Sonic, because I think, I think his speed can be implemented in another way. Like, it shouldn't just be boosting. It should be running and attacking. His speed should be based off of his attacks. Or, vice versa, his attack should be, his attack should be based off of his speed. Yeah, then you can let me go for speed, that's what he is, so like, when he's like fighting and he's like, you know, getting there, the punches are in there, the punch is in there for like going into his, his dash move and, and taking him out if it's a robot, spinning through him and stuff like that, it's like, you know, okay, so where's all this, like, you, you make, you're making, you're doing it from the old, the older game, and, you bring them to the new stuff and like, oh, I feel like I, I would like to see this. I'm like, I want to see, I want to see him do this. I want to see him do that. Like, you know, bring it. Like he's bought. I mean, I know he's in this century, but I want to see like, oh, what other stuff can you do with him in this century? Like, he has hands. Can he use his hands? Like, and they did that when they when they did the game. Magic Sonic. Huh? <laughs> yeah, what? Magic Magic no. Well, it has. Has. I mean, like, you know, grab his stuff, like, you know, I don't know, because cause Sonic doesn't really stop, you just have him really constantly all the time. The last game to implement that correctly was, unfortunately, Sonic Adventure 2, because he could grab on poles, he could jump off of ramps, he could do Sonic Win in multiplayer, he could do uh, other things besides homing at that, even though that was his main attack. But nowadays, you do in that game, right? Oh, heck yeah, that was my favorite, that's my most used move. I think I use Somersault more than I use Home Attack, right? and that's impossible because Home Attack right? is built into every stage. But I use Somersault just to jump sometimes, just to look cool while jumping. It's pretty cool. You know, I love it. But anyway, um, games like, okay, games like the newer games, where it's for whatever reason focused on nothing but speed and hard little platforming, or, I don't know, I don't know, it's a platform. Animation did a good job. No, yeah, Generations was pretty balanced, but it was, it, there was still a lot of boost hallways. Um, but, if when you have these games that are based on speed and boosting, right, why not implement some new speed and boosting attacks instead of just homing attacks? 
Because right now, honestly, that is his only attack. Uh, it's the only attack. I mean, boost is somehow an attack. Me personally, if you're running at the speed of sound and you're running into an enemy, I don't think that the enemy would just be destroyed. I think it would probably hurt you depending on the size of the enemy. You know, yeah, unless, yeah. unless he's doing a spin dash in his face. Right, yeah. Yeah, bring back the spin dash. Spin dash, of course. Yeah, you know, one thing I see, like, the biggest disappointment so far mm -hmm. for the recent ones is, um, as you can see beforehand, when we actually transform to Super Sonic, what does Sonic have in his arsenal? Nothing anymore. Invincibility, that's it. No, no, he had a flame shield. Wait, who, wait, wait, you say that again? I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, before Super Sonic, Sonic oh. had the, um, oh, kill his arsenal. Yes, yes, that's right. Now, how did he connect that flame shield? That was through boxes, iron boxes. Right. Now, where are the iron boxes now? There are no iron boxes, boy. What do we have instead? We have aliens. <laughs> or, or we have the, the shop, that, that one shop from Generations. Yeah, we have shops, we have aliens, we don't have it in stages. Right. Well, we do, a aliens are in stages, but... What, what does aliens do with Sonic? Right, exactly. We, we can't rely on the aliens every single time. That's another thing. And then also, with the aliens as well, is that they actually have a limit. Oh yeah, of course. Once you collect the iron box, yeah, you want it to be used for the whole portion of the stage. Then it just depends on if you can actually um, obtain, like, keep it on for the rest of the stage or not. Mm -hmm. Like how it's done in this game. Right. Yeah, that, that's a very valid point. That's the point that I always forget to bring up when I'm raging about you know, where the fan base is going, there are no item boxes anymore. You know, we, we have our ring capsules, I think. Actually, no, we don't. We, they're being replaced by those little ring circles. They have that now. <laughs> oh, man. You know, if you remember. So, what happened to the ring boxes from the good old days? Oh, yeah, it was in Generations. It was with Classic Sonic, of course. We're going to acknowledge that. They don't fall in it. Everything is with Classic Sonic. Great. What about Marvin Sonic? Where did his ring boxes go? He had him in Sonic Adventure. You know what I mean? So it's like, why not use that to implement some new items? Or some old items, even. <laughs> so, yeah, you get some new items, but just kind of I, make like, a diamond. Like, like, I would love, love it if they thought, like, I don't see, for some reason, I don't see the light here. Well, yeah, because the light is here now is just a boost because that once you oh, go next to the ring, right. it sucks the ring. It sucks in the ring. How cheap is that? Oh my gosh, where's the skill? The game pretty much plays itself. I, I didn't really realize that. Now, least, now do you see what they do to the games? God, that's, it's pretty bad because, like, okay, for, first of all, Generations is the worst out of the three. Uh, let me go ahead and explain why. I don't mean it's a bad thing. I mean, what the things that they're implementing is pretty bad. Um, and it's the worst out of the three. It unleashed, if you burn next to wings, it would fill up your boost. If you killed enemies, it would fill up your boost. That was it. In generations, oh boy, get ready for this one. If you kill wings, guess what? It fills up your boost. If you kill enemies, guess what? It fills up your boost. If you do tricks, it fills up your boost. Guess what? If you fill up your boost, it fills up your boost. If you want your final, um... Colors did it the best, let's put that. No, Colors did it the best. That's why I said Generation is the worst out of the movie. Uh, Unleashed isn't that bad, but it's still pretty bad because it's still spammable. Colors restricted it. You could not. There are, there are some levels where you didn't use Boost 1 because... Are you trying to do that? even did um, Boost in 2D, it just wouldn't actually have much of an impact really because like, you're just going in one repairing. Yeah. Right, like, exactly. Well, it's it, nice, but like, it would really be a fun experience. Right, yeah, I, I personally despise the whole entire 2D idea, the 2.5D idea, because Sonic has moved on. He's moved on years ago, we're trying to take him back to the past, and pretty much, I don't want to say ruin him, but we're crippling him. We're dead. We can actually have both 2D and 3D, but not in the same game. Not the same game, not, like, okay, Sonic 4 is our outlet for 2D. I, I enjoy it, I'm not against... 2D games. I love Sonic 4, actually, believe it or not, I'm probably one of the few people that do. Um, but Sonic, get the next mainstream Sonic game, it cannot be 2.5D, otherwise it will not get my money, I'm sorry. But it won't. You know, I, I would rightfully say that I will either pirate the game or borrow from a phone. 
No, I, I don't support pirating. But anyway, um, no, I, I don't plan on you support the natives. I love the natives. Alright then, he supports pirating everyone. <laughs> I'll never, ever, 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 ever get used to that 2.5p. Every time it happens and I have to adjust myself to the camera changing and uh, instead of pressing up, I now have to press right. It's like, what is going on? I, I just want to jump. <laughs> I just wanted to jump in the direction where I want to. Uh, you know, why are you guys doing this to me? What did I do to you guys? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Literally. It, it, it's pretty... It's pretty bad. I don't mean to complain. It's just like... It's like, come on now, we've had three games. Can we please just move on from this small one? Because if I see another game, I'm going to pull out some hair. And, you know... I think we didn't even have any hair. Dude, I got tons of hair. You want some? No, no. <laughs> but yeah, but, but when you when you totally brought that to my attention about the item box, you basically brought up a whole entire wave topic for me. I'm gonna completely, or I'm sorry, rant topic. I'm gonna rant about this because it's something that completely slipped my mind. I, I never really realized that the item boxes are no longer in existence. They've been there since Sonic One. Why yeah. could we get rid of them at all and replace them with that little ring circle thing? I, honestly, I think it's just laziness. They don't feel like placing the item boxes anywhere. It's easier to just drag one of those rings from the clipboard and just, oh my gosh, that's extra cozy. Oh. <laughs> you know, all that stuff. And and the thing is, they weren't lazy with your own case. They had the code a uh, uh, complete 2D experience and glorious HD and a complete 2.5D experience and glorious HD. They did that part correctly, they did that part very well. I applaud them for that. But where's the innovation at? We're, we're losing the, the things that make Sonic Sonic now at this point. Oh, he's all about speed. Um, nah, I don't think so. In Sonic 1, he wasn't all about speed. He ran mightily slow in that game. In Sonic 2 is where he got it. I think I was the only one that liked it. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I think you were. I, I didn't like Sonic 1 that much. Not because he was slow, but because... I didn't like the physics, there was no tails. It was kinda it was just but that's just my my opinion. I thought the best thing was do no tails so like everyone really up sunk the button the whole time. So that's my two cents, it doesn't mean much. <laughs> but um you know, that's just about Sonic 1. But like for the new games, you know, the two the two point five definitely needs to go. It's getting old. It was great for unleashed. I loved it in Unleashed, believe it or not, I did. I was, you can ask Jim, he, by, by Jim is my witness, he knows how excited I was playing that game. You know, woo, feeling good, that was very exciting, I loved it, all of it. When Colors came out, it's like, okay, this formula is getting old, they, oh, they put way too much platforming in it, uh, the Wisp thing is such a horrible gimmick, I thought it was going to be something like Sonic uh, 3D Brass, where like, you have to save the Wisp, and you have to collect them all, and you can choose which one you want to use as your power, or maybe you, that's your boost instead of you using boost. But no, they're capsules. <laughs> yeah. Why are they capsules? That doesn't even make any sense. The items now, I thought they were people. Yo, <laughs> you that is so, like, genocidal. <laughs> that's just... Anyway, that's another topic, but... It's just like, whoa, uh, what are they doing to Sonic? Well, why are they... No, they should have done in the Sonic Colors, by the way. What? I was thinking about it. If they really wanted you to have these little capsules and stuff and powers and stuff, why didn't they just use um, the way how they did it in, I think it was uh, Sonic 3D Blast. You know when you actually go through Tails and Knuckles and they just help you out on one part? Right. Why didn't they just use that type of idea? You mean for the wisps? Yeah. Because they wanted that, they wanted the wisps. I mean, and technically that's what they did with the capsules. Like, you, you only get the certain kind of wisp that you need to get to this certain area. Okay, so you could have just used actual characters, actual yes. Sonic characters. Oh, hell, the nothing. Right, right, right. Because yeah. Knuckles can dig, Tails can fly, Amy can jump, or whatever she does. No one cares about Amy. That's, that's kind of like, they, they kind of did that in Generations, but it's all side missions. It's not throughout the real story, so it feels extra. Yeah, exactly, like Generation did a bit of it. Okay. It feels like it's like, oh, they just threw that in there to make us happy and put the other characters in there. Yeah, Because it, it was so broken, like, Tails. Nah, it, was, it was just really broken. I, I might do a little video about that one day, and it's not going to be a complaint video. It's just going to be... Uh, 
you know, how you can make this better, you know, or how it should have been. And of course, you know, my opinion doesn't mean nothing in the Sonic community. However, I am entitled to my opinion. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and make a video about it. Expect to see that. I'll be definitely expecting to see that. I want to see it myself. I will do it in the video and I will be watching. We gotta show all the times we get to use the characters instead. And building one, I'm not complaining. Generations obviously got an 8 out of 10 for me, whereas at least got like a 9 out of 10. Uh, Colors got like a straight 8 out of 10, I will believe. It's just that that's not my favorite style of gameplay. I'm not biased against those games. It's just they don't feel like Sonic games to me, they feel more like Mario games. And I'm being honest, Sonic Generation, I mean, Sonic Colors, to me, was like Mario, it was like Sonic Galaxy. That's what it felt like. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. It, it was, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a different league. Mario Galaxy was more than just some space type of um, gameplay. It was more.